Hello everyone, how are you? I'm Damon, this is my mom, Cynthia. Hi. We are here to help you guys beat foreclosure. We just did our first video and it ran about 15 minutes. So I don't know if our second video is gonna go that long, but we just kind of wanted to talk about the process of pre-foreclosure. And where we would like to step in and work with you if we, if we can. You don't wanna let it to go too far because timing is important here in several phases. Let me go ahead and I'll share our screen again. Okay, so here's our fun little YouTube page. If you haven't liked us or subscribed, please do so. If you've made it to video two, I'm hoping that our, <laughs> our content is uh, at least informative <laughs> that you're staying tuned. So, okay, uh, the process. If you do a simple Google search. Yes, these are the stages, really six phases of this. The first one is that you have had default. That means you didn't make your, your payment and that is has to be 90 days or more. Once that happens, you get a notice of intent or default from the lender. From the lender yeah. That's the point at which we want to try to work with you if you've already received notice of intent. Uh, we have lots of options and things that you can do. This in is, this six phases, you can you can go and look yeah. at this online. Like I just pulled up Forbes website and they tell very similar to what we're going Here over. you're having that, that notice of default and then the problem with waiting too long is then, then you have notice of a trustee sale. If there isn't a negotiation or some agreement or some way that the lender is going to get their money, which is what they're after, then they will give you notice of intent to auction your house. And so what I'm hearing too, after COVID, there were a lot of people that took the forbearance during COVID. And I, I hear there were people that were able to not make payments for a couple of years. Right. And so that money does have to be paid back. And so what I'm hearing is happening, that forbearance is over. The moratorium is over. Now the bank is wanting their money. It's 2023, and especially we, in the next month coming up. Yeah, we, as we discussed in the first video, we're hearing uh, amounts of people uh, that they're owing uh, back numbers of well into the six figures. So what we don't want to do is bury our head in the sand. Right. Worst thing you can do is nothing. Uh, you have to collect information. It's very scary. If you think that it'll go away, it won't. You'll receive that. The next step of it is you get that foreclosure filing by your lender, and then they are going to go ahead, send you a notice of a sale, and then they will have an auction, and then your house is foreclosed, and you basically lose everything what we're trying to do is work with you individually depending on your particular circumstances to make sure that at least you can get back out of your house the equity that you already have worked your whole life thus far to put into your home most people that is their greatest amount of equity they ever have anywhere uh, in their lifetime and so you certainly don't want to give that away or do, allow that to be lost do not let it get to phase number or phase six is eviction yeah, once it's auctioned and you are, you know, forced, literally forced to, to move out of your house. So time is important here. Uh, it's for every person, it's different. When the 90 days passed that you were in arrears, uh, could be for some people that you still have 90 days after the moratorium ends. Or for some states, it may be that you're now having to come up with that money, negotiate, whatever. So one of the things that we would like to talk about today, one of the next things that you can do once you look over these steps and you understand is to possibly go ahead and try to put your house on the market for sale by yourself. The advantage to that is that you will save the realty fee, which can be up to 10%. And that could be the difference for a lot of families of you know, uh, quite a quite a good amount of money that will allow you to carry on to the next phase of your life. Um, the advantage of using a realtor is going to be days on market. That's where the networking comes in, putting something on the MLS. There, I, I'm a realtor as well. Um, we can help you go that route if you want to. The point, though, is that with the network and putting something on the MLS, days on market, even though it's going up recently, is going to be historically a lot less 
than someone that tries to do it for sale by owner. Yes, and here, here are some of the reasons why. Where your house is located determines the price that you can ask, the condition of the home, the sales, the current sales that can uh, determine the amount of money that you're going to receive. It's important to know also if there's a lien on the house, you need to check your title, make sure your title's okay. If anybody's ever done work and they've had a, uh, a conflict over a fee that is or is not paid. And also it's important to understand that right now, housing prices are dropping. And that makes it a very difficult thing for you if you're trying to sell it by yourself, although the, there are advantages. And to again, that. every market's going to be different. We're here in Southern California. We're, um, it's sort of a unique market, but uh, all across the country, we are seeing uh, prices dropping a lot. And here are a couple of other problems is that interest rates are going up. And according to business news, they are, the Fed is deciding that they are going to continue to raise them at maybe 0.25 for the rest of this year for each quarter, which means that to, it's gonna cut down on the number of buyers because that's gonna make the payments much, much higher. And the other thing that we just found out was that in new home sales, mm -hmm. they are 68% of people that have put a deposit down to purchase a new home have canceled out thus far in 2023. That's going to have a huge impact on the market as well. So if you can put your home on the market, uh, we can also, I have had a design business and I have sold my parents' home when they passed away and have remodeled and know what the buyers are after. Sometimes that's a thing to do is to maybe get some help with staging, getting your house corrected to put on the market. There's just a lot of of different options. So what we do want to tell you is if you can't come up with the money to pay off what you owe your lender, if you tried to sell your house by yourself and it didn't sell, then that's another reason to talk to us because the next thing that we suggest that you try to do, which is really important if you can do it, is to do a loan modification. That we want you to do, try it. It's the best answer for you and your family if you can get the loan modification. So we want to talk about that some more. We're going to do our next, our next video. Okay. Yes, we'll talk about the ins and outs, the pros and cons of what's happening in that market right now. So give us a call. We would love to meet you, to talk to you, to find out what you're trying to achieve, what your goals are. Um, Let's do it. Let's have a Zoom conference. We would love to come out and see your house. We really can't give you a complete uh, idea, uh, make a big floor plan of what's the best project, the way to go forward with your particular property until we really talk to you and then we see your home and find out what you want to achieve. So there's a button to push somewhere. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not a so, computer person. That's no, okay. So <laughs> right, if you, if you like our content, if you found this helpful, we would love to be in touch with you. You can hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Hit the notification bell up top. That will alert you when we, anytime that we make a new recording, you'll be the first to know about it. Uh, under the about section there, you can click on it and uh, my personal phone number comes up. My email comes up. Give me a buzz, shoot me a text, shoot me an email, whatever you wanna do. We're here for you, set up a Zoom call. Let us help you beat foreclosure. We'll see you on the next video. Is there anything else? That well, we want? Yeah. just that we would really like to know if you have any questions that you would like us to specifically address, text or email that to Damon. Sure. Uh, and then we will definitely talk about it. We'll get you some answers and we'll include it in our next few uh, videos. The next thing we're gonna talk about is doing this loan modification. So see you soon. Thanks. Thank you guys.